guys. I am dressed and ready to go. We are in like full spring mode today. I am so excited, although the weather is a bit more summery than spring, I shall say. I'm feeling very Allison Bickerstaff, Michelle Reed today. They are always wearing the cutest little dresses, and I'm sitting here in my oversized t-shirt, and I'm like, is that comfy? Like, is that fun? And then I realized very quickly that dresses are the best thing to wear in summer because they're breathable, they're flowy, and if you find the right one, it's comfy. So I'm just channeling my inner Allison and Michelle today if they're watching this. I truly feel like a summer princess. But like I said earlier, I'm just like craving a good walk around the bookstore. I've had a really, really busy week with work and I'm super excited to take you guys along. So without further ado, we should hop in the car and we should go. But before, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Missouri for sponsoring today's video. I've seen so many people work with them. I see Mikkel Jancy work with them all the time and their jewelry just looks so beautiful. I think as an adult now, and I can say I'm a true adult because I'm turning 25 this year, I am just really into minimal but like beautiful, simple, also unique jewelry. And I'm also really into rings right now. <laughs> So, Missouri sent over a few things that I wanted to show you guys. So that I do my homework before I work with any brand and I was absolutely blown away with how much Missouri does to be ethical and sustainable. And did you guys know that over 75% of their staff are women? That's awesome. All their pieces are actually designed in-house and they are handcrafted by world-renowned jewelers who commit to being ethical and also sustainable, which you guys know I really appreciate in a brand, especially a jewelry brand have a good balance between responsibly mined materials and recyclable materials which I, once again you guys know so near and dear to my heart we have to protect the earth there's only one of them right now 40 percent of their 14k gold pieces are handcrafted using certified recycled gold and they have a commitment to reach 70 percent by 2022 they also have new drops every single monday which i love there's always something new coming in and i'm so excited to show you guys the pieces that they sent over so let me go grab them well i'm wearing some of them but let me go grab the others and i'll be right back first thing i got was a stacker ring which i don't have just a plain gold band so i'm really excited about this and then to go along with that i also got their wish bone ring which just adds a little bit more to it and i absolutely like i said love wearing them on my pinkies and i am so excited for this one i can't put it on myself which is why you guys aren't going to see me wear a necklace in this because my nails are very long and i can't do the clasp myself and matt's not here to help me but this and i got a layered bar necklace which i think is just really beautiful simple but also elegant great to pair maybe with a plain work shirt to spice it up or honestly wear it with this dress for like a little date night but i didn't have a travel case for my jewelry um missouri's gonna be like watching this and be like carter what but when we traveled to disney i had to put all my jewelry in a ziploc and it made me sad because i was just worried to ruin it and tarnish it and scratch it but i think this is so beautiful and it's just so small and delicate like it would fit in your carry-on it would fit in your purse honestly so beautiful you can also get it engraved as well it is so beautiful such amazing quality i'm absolutely obsessed i believe i'm working with Missouri on today's video it's such a dream come true i've looked up to their brand for so long they just have loved their jewelry so much it's minimal but also playful and unique and i'm obsessed with it and i also just love how much they are also doing for our planet if you guys are interested in shopping anything that i showed you or any of their other beautiful pieces you can head to the link in the description and you'll get 10 percent off your first purchase thank you so much Missouri, for sponsoring today's video and hey guys let's go to the bookstore this is my dress so cute from walmart less than 20 dollars a steal let's do it anyways okay i'm back i got my starbucks if you guys don't know we cannot go to a bookstore without starbucks in our life so i picked up the new chocolate cream cold brew which i'm super excited to try i usually try new drinks on release day but i couldn't get out i was ironically actually shooting a campaign for starbucks because i'm actually working with them on instagram this summer which is like such a pinch me moment i not believe i just said that aloud but yeah i'm working with starbucks this summer which is crazy but anyways i wanted to try their new chocolate cream cold brew but i got it with no vanilla syrup in it because you guys know i don't like sweet things and then of course the little treat that they have is so cute it's a little ice cream cone sugar cookie i love starbucks sugar cookies look how precious this is how fun in spring. I'm super excited. I'm in such a good mood. I cannot wait to go to the bookstore. First enough talking, let's try this new cold brew. Oh my goodness, that tastes like summer. Wow, that's so good. It's not very sweet. 
I really like it. And it tastes like a fudgicle, honestly. Um, I do want to try it next time, maybe with like one pump of vanilla, just to see what the chocolate and vanilla mix is like, like maybe like a Neapolitan ice cream situation, but it's very yummy. Very good. Okay, I am going to head over to the bookstore and I'll see you guys there. I've shown you guys this stuff before but I am obsessed with this summer collection from Rifle Paper Co. It's so beautiful. This one. These are so beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh this is so cute. Look how cute. I showed this in another vlog, but I'm sorry. This is so precious. And this one as well. This one is so cute. They also just have like really pretty colors. That is so funny. How summery and fun is this? Oh, cute little duck in it. I think we skipped from spring to summer, so this might be a spring summer book vlog but also can we take a moment for the dress amazing <laughs> I also need this chair in my house this section never changes it's literally always the same books um I wonder what's in here. Oh, interesting. Those are the ones they pick. I've never heard of those two. I also, maybe while I'm here, should get the second book. In the second Holly Jackson book, maybe. They have a paperback. I want to read this, but I'm, I'm way too scared to cry. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, haven't read this one yet. Ooh, I love when they do these. It's so fun. This kind of sounds good. It sounds really good. <laughs> I might get this. I might get this, honestly. What is this? Also, this book just like screams spring. I don't even know what it's about, but it screams spring. Look how cute this is. I love F. Scott Fitzgerald. Look how cool. This is really cool, only $15. Wow, guys, I found my section. I found it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I want to do one of these for a guest book at a wedding instead of, I saw it on TikTok, a girl did a book they wanted as a, their guest book. Oh my gosh. How much? Oh my gosh. $110. <gasps> this would be such a beautiful coffee table book. What else do they have? Jurassic Park. Okay guys, look what I just found. Oh my god, I'm buying this. Okay, maybe not $62, but... Oh my gosh, you guys, I want this so bad. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Wow. This is actually where I spend most of my time in the bookstore, is in the marble section. <laughs> I know no one cares about this, but oh my god. I want to start a Marvel collection. I think that would look so cool in our house.
Alrighty guys, it's getting a little warm out, so if my hair is looking a little crazy, that's why, but I think that was a success. Um, it's very hard to vlog in there. I always have the best intentions of filming like a super in-depth bookstore video, and then the music is so darn loud that I always get copyrighted, so. I'm getting three books. Um, I cannot wait to open this, so let's open this one right now. The other ones I'll show you when we get home because, anyways, I love mystery books. And it sounded like something I had never read. It's kind of hard, obviously, because I read so many books to do mystery books. But this just says, One man stole her heart, the other stole her life. Trapped in a loveless marriage, polio epidemic strikes the area. Diana Chamberlain, The Stolen Marriage. This kind of sounds good. Sounds pretty good, honestly. That sounds up my alley. So, um, holy cow, I need to turn the car on. I'm like boiling. But I'm going to head to my favorite thrift store because their books are a dollar. See if they have anything. And let's get going. I am home from my adventure. I snagged some really good deals at the thrift store. I love that place so much. I probably go like once a month. I probably should go more honestly because the good ones probably get snatched up. But first thing I'm going to show you guys is the books that I got at Walmart doing groceries last week. I got three. They were all 30% off. Actually all thriller so it works out. So first one I got was the new Lisa Jewel book which I am so excited about. It's called The Truth About Melody Brown. And this one, I'll just read like the little top blurb. It just says, a riveting story of a woman whose life is turned upside down by the discovery of a long buried past. I really like that this one is a smaller Lisa Jewel book. Um, sometimes I find a lot of thrillers just drag on like 50 to 100 pages too long. So I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Then I've never heard of this author before, but I find Walmart has a really good selection of new authors. And I've actually found some of my favorite thrillers at Walmart. This is Hush Little Baby by R.H. Heron. I'm really excited about this. This just says a propulsive thriller that asks how tightly are we bound to our past? How much can we trust those around us? And how far will a mother go to protect her child? Also, by the way, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you do because I post my real time book reviews on there and then I do a book wrap up at the end of the month on here. Okay, I'm really excited for this one. I hadn't heard anything about it, but my best friend Emma is also into suburban thrillers like me and made the Simon and Schuster like Instagram post like through DM and it looks really good. So I've been really excited for this to come out. This is Magpie by Elizabeth Day. And this just says she has almost everything the rest she'll take we'll see where it goes so really excited about those thrillers always 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 check walmart or target even in canada loblaws and superstore pretty much always have 20 to 30 percent off new releases i tend to actually buy most of my books there i'm not gonna lie i'm a little sad because the thrift store books are a dollar and a dollar fifty i believe or a dollar fifty and two fifty if it's hardcover soft cover but they were buy three get two free and i was trying so hard to find two other ones i wanted and i couldn't which it's fine, but I did get three and I'm I'm stoked about my finds. So these were all $1.50. The first one I got was The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, which book back in 2020, but it is one of my all-time favorite enemies to lovers books. And so I wanted to have it for $1.50 on like my all-time fave shelf. And to be quite honest, I'll probably read it again because I really enjoyed it. This one is a pretty popular one, not my typical read, but my sister-in-law read this and I'm pretty sure she said it was good. It's American Dirt by Janine Cummins. And it's just a beautiful cover. My usual book, but I really want to get out of my comfort zone. And since I ended up giving Where the Crawdads Sing away, I figured this would be a good one to replace it with. And then lastly, I can't believe I found this because I've been eyeing it at the bookstore for so long and I never have picked it up. This is The Husbands by Chandler Baker. And I don't necessarily think this is a thriller. It just says the husband's is a gripping well-crafted mystery and an insightful critique of motherhood and marriage in the modern age working mothers everywhere will feel seen in the best way possible 
um how far will a woman go for a little more help from her husband so i'm excited about this one as well and lastly my bookstore haul i went in for this which i have seen this all over tiktok i am so excited it is written by a canadian author it takes place in barry's bay which is kind of ironic if you live in canada or even ontario you know where that is and this cover gives me very much like new taylor jenkins read vibes every summer after by carly fortune i am like beyond excited to read this i actually think i'm going to stop the book i'm currently reading and read this because i i can't wait but yeah very taylor jenkins read um like uk cover vibes it just says six summers to fall in love one moment to fall apart a weekend to get it right i am so excited for this one and i wanted to buy it new to support the author next indigo always has like a six dollar and a ten dollar section and i mean if it's bad it was only six dollars and i'll donate it this is the other mrs miller by allison dixon and it's a thriller just says two women are watching each other only one knows why nice small little thriller sounded kind of good i am a sucker for a rich mom suburban thriller like you guys saw in the car this was the mystery book and i'm actually really excited about it it sounds really really good so that is my book haul i hope you guys enjoyed a fun little spring bookstore we really got in the spring mood today i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know down below if you've read any of these books which one i should read first what your current favorite read is let me know just anything you want down below i love interacting with you guys and i am going to grab my book change into a bathing suit and go sit outside and soak up this summer romance book so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys next time bye